Hello, hello, it's me, Fildo, and again, uh, well, not actually again, I lied. Uh, I have done a tiny bit of not even training. I just ran out, killed two fog men, fog uh, princes, got their heads, sold them, so I had a tiny bit more money than you saw in the last episode. I think it, I think it was two. Doesn't really matter. We also put a beep up up on a stake, and now I have. Debated with myself, I want to buy some better pants. After how badly my legs were hurt after just trying to get those two fogmen, fog princes, I really want to get at least either samurai cloth pants in masterwork or samurai leg plates in specialist or masterwork. Whichever he has in store. Now, how do I want to get to him? I think I'm gonna go top side. Or do I wanna go bottom side? Top side seems better. So yeah, that's that's what we're doing today, I think. As I'm not editing these videos much, it's this is just how it goes. And uh yeah. I'm going in nighttime for absolutely no reason whatsoever, other than this is when oh that's the rock we can run through. Um, I have no idea if, he, if Beep is alive or not, but I think he's dead. That's all I can say on that. <laughs> I do believe he is dead. Also would like a better helmet, though I don't... I don't want to change it. Really? And my head hasn't been that hurt anyway, so at this point it has been fine. Those were... Oh, they stopped running after me now. Um, my head has had... Like, has been okay. But if if he has something and I have the money for it, I may as well buy it. Uh, and I also would like to... After buying that, run home again. Fuck, I forgot to buy the goddamn bedroll again. <laughs> I use it so rarely, so I just forget about it all the time. It's the type of item that you really want to have, but you don't have it when you need it type of thing. Better to... What is it? Better to have it and not need it than need it, not have it. I'm a fight starving bandits, come on, man. Hello, peoples. 90. That's good stuff. It's a bit sad though that they, uh, they do need two hits to go down. This is actually gonna be closer than I thought it would. So this isn't gonna really level my block at all. They are too low level for it. Yep. Yeah. They hurt me more than I thought they would. I am using an attack animations mod, if you are wondering. See, when you get hit once, you stagger so much. Wow, my chest got really damaged. I mean, I'm not letting you out of here before you're all dead. I know you're crawling now, but you're all gonna die. You fell through the floor. Anyone else feel like running? Nope, you're all dying. Well, let's get going then. Got down to half health on my chest. That is actually significant. As that will lower your strength. But it seems fine for now. Oh, my dex is badly fucked. Okay, so, wait. Oh, no, fuck. It's the dex that got reduced by the chest injury. It means I attack and block slower. 
those guys. I mean, I could probably take on one and then maybe a second one after a bit. What are you going on that side for? What the fuck is happening? The game tells me that there is nothing wrong with the pathfinding. I have no idea what he thought I clicked on. Well, it's not not like I can do much about it. I'm pressing shift 11 or shift F11. What are you? You seem like a person. Oh, it's a great rich person. That might be where... Oh my goodness, I'm so dumb. I'm pretty sure it's either the great rich merchant people thingy mod or the uh, uh, people like to shop thing that has given Catlon 300,000 cats in his inventory. Which is cool and all, but for this type of a playthrough, it's a cheat, so I'm not doing that. When I normally play, I, I would pick it, because I can. But this is supposed to be like a, you know, a bit more fair, so I wouldn't want to do that. Armor King is such a great guy. I mean, all he wants is to give armor to the people. Protection for all, basically. And also you can say most of his sentences in the uh, tune to Spider-Man, <laughs> which is funny to me. Armor King, Armor King. Na 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 na, Armor King. I don't remember what it says, but it is something like that. He is the Armor King. Saving lives with Armor King, that's it. Hello, mister. How is you? Armor King, Armor King, saving life with Armor Ring. And? Ah, he didn't say any more of it. Well. Ooh, masterwork leg plates. And that's it. Well, you know what I said. These are mine now. The assassin rags are actually really good. So I have been debating on running those instead of this. Uh, though if I do that, you can see the right arm protection is 100. The chest is fucked at that point. It has some head protection. And also my left arm has no protection. So in that case, I would want to have a... Uh, whatchamacallit, a gosh darn, why, why, is, why am I blanking on this, turtleneck, that's the word, because they have 100% arm protection, so you at least have like 20% blunt and cut resist, uh, instead of zero, it is the left arm, which is my better arm, I think it is, right? Yeah. So that's fine. It is mainly because of the attack speed bonus, which is why these guys aren't actually that good. They're very protective. But that's about it. Hmm. And this is also pretty cool instead of this. I mean, I'll have to keep that just in case I need to do some stuff and things. Um, I'm trying to think, is it in World's End you can get this? Like, in Masterwork Raid? Hmm. <laughs>
I'm thinking. I'm not gonna wear samurai armor or crab because I don't like him. I'd go plate jacket over samurai almost any time, even though it is basically half the defense value. I just don't like the reduced attack damage, combat speed uh, from attack damage and combat speed from samurai armor. So that's why I like this more, which only has a bit of a dex, bit of a dex deficit and nothing else. But I guess this is the new look now. Um, so yeah, that's cool, that's cool. What is his stats even? Yeah, they're basically just a tiny bit of a nerfed Catlon. <laughs> Uh, what was it now, then? I need more money to buy a better weapon if I want to, but I think I need to train strength before then. And in that case, we're going back to the hub. Yup. All the way back to the hub. Gohan is a great food, just so you know. If you didn't know, now you do. I still want to try to get a masterwork industrial arm, even though I said that there is no real need for it. Wait, how much can I sell mine for? 9k. I should be able to buy one if I go to Black Desert City. Yeah, sure. If I sell mine, I can buy one from them. So I'm gonna check it. And uh, while that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and search up on me phone. Let's see. Google Can she Master Work Fog Mask? I am in a rock. Fog mask, let's see. Is there any way to get a specialist or masterwork grade fog mask? Uh, the blueprint can be found in the scrap house or cat lawn. That's, yeah, sure. That doesn't help me much, though. It's a light armor piece, but you need heavy armor crafting to make it. I mean, that makes sense. It is made of metal. It can be sold by shinobi traders. That much I get, but I don't think these guys have a high chance of having masterwork stuff. I don't even think they can have masterwork of those types. Oh my goodness, go away. This is, this is how fast it goes. It can't go any faster than this. Just people talking about the blueprint. There is no one here talking about an actual location for one. Hmm. Oh well. I might have to find some other equipment in that case. For a headpiece whenever I want to. Or if I ever want to have full on specialist or mass work stuff. But we'll get to it when we get to it. This is my normal stuff. Those two, but normally a turtleneck instead of a dark leather shirt. Though the dark, le dark leather shirt still protects the main piece of the body as well as a turtleneck would. The stealth bonus doesn't fucking matter. I'm not gonna stealth. 
especially now that I have this and this, because both of them have a reduced stealth effect. And as I said, they are multiplicative. It is not 15 minus, uh, or 15 plus uh, 54. It is 0.15 times 0.54. So you can see when I try to sneak, when we get on land, we have a, there it is, negative of 91. If I take off this, it's still 84. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. We're not stealthing for much. But we are still gonna go all the way to Black City. Nyom. Nyom, 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 nyom. I don't know if I have much of a goal, really. I would want to do the bare minimum of uh, killing the bitch boys in Blister Hill and stack and whatever this is. I don't remember the name of it. Oh my goodness, it's not a Kenshi video without me yawning for some reason. Um. Yeah, I want to go in there, kill the main peoples, and um, what else? I want to kill those boys, get the Meitu Paladins Cross, and also join the Shek Kingdom, and try to spread their influence over into the territory of... Uh, Well, everyone else. Just spread the Shek Kingdom. Power first. Oh, goodness. Why did that happen? Have I? No. The rain! It's acid! Fine cover! The damn rain burns. That sounds like a newbie uh, fucking flesh person problem to me. Fleshy person problem. What a thing. As I say, I normally play skeletons, so... <laughs> Though at 80% protection, it doesn't seem like it does much. Okay, first check. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Nyom. Save. Have a look around. Yes, of course. Show me what you got. I need a left industrial lifter arm. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Let's see. Let's see. There are, like, no left arms? What the hell? Right arm, right arm, right arm, right arm, right arm, and right... What the hell, dude? What the fuck? Why is there no fucking left arms? And even worse, there's the Masterwork variant. God damn it. <sighs> Now what? That's so dumb. I don't remember what type of items the bar sells. I mean, it's it's a bar, but... Yeah, they don't really sell food. <laughs> I've... Okay, so I'm just gonna say... It. Repair kits is a repair kit, of course. I find it funny that they sell a grog, but they do. I, re I do understand the fuel. I mean, of course. And I do not read this as electrical component. I read it as chips. Like, that's supposed to be a chip. And if you don't get the joke, then you're dead to me. Not really, but you know. What the fuck are you doing? You're working... Oh, okay. It's out of resources though, man. So you better not be doing that. 
But yeah. Now what I could do is spend some time here. Oh, we can check if his head is back to normal. Yay, his head is back to normal. Uh, I could just stay here. And since I want to import a save anyway, I could import and check the shop again. It's a bit cheesy, but it is a thing you can do. And since I need to import Catlon anyway, I may as well do it. I know it's cheesy. But then again, this is the cheesiest playthrough I've ever done. Ooh, that reminds me. Can I? Ooh, I can actually steal this stuff. I'll show you. So, as you can see, I am perfectly hidden here. I'm going to slow down the speed anyway, just in case. I am doing something illegal, but I am also completely hidden. And look at this. My steal chance is over 100%. So what you can do easily is just take it. Right? So I want to just see these arms. It's mine now. This one. It's mine now. What about... Is there anything that's really expensive? Six, seven, three, seven, nine. Twelve. That's mine now. Twelve. That's also mine. Though I need better space. I mean... And if I just wait a few seconds... They are none the wiser. Hello, I was just sitting in your corner for a bit. So that's how overpowered thievery is. I just earned uh, 25, 50k ish in that span of time. Only thing is, I can't sell it here. And when I re install the save I might be able to but I won't sell it here I'll go somewhere else to sell it you can sell it here you can sell it in the bar or in the scrap house uh, but yeah I will see you in a short bit when I am uh, done reinitializing importing the same save that's it so yup I'll see you back when the save is imported. I just remember that I don't think I have shown what an import is or what it does. So I'll, I may as well do that now. So instead of clicking continue new or load, you click import game, obviously. You find the game file you want to import, which is Solo Iron Filena in this case. You can reset squad positions. If you click this and you load, every single person in your entire squad, not just the one tab, everyone, will be teleported to your camera position. It's great to get people unstuck, but just remember it is everyone. Uh, export buildings, or import buildings, I mean, sorry. If you have bought a building, made a building, built a base, and you do this, turn it off, it does not import, it will delete the whole base. Pop, gone. So this is more of a, you want to do a new game plus thing, or you've built too many bases and they're starting to look bad, and you're like, I'm going to start a new one anyway. Click this, click import, and you will uh, delete all your bases. Import research, again, more of a new game plus thing. Oh, you don't want the research you have, you want to research things from the beginning, click this, import, you will lose all your research. Now the one we're going to do is import dead NPCs. If you kill someone, they are dead. Fucking obviously. If you do this, you will revive them at their main location. And relations, you want to keep that on, unless you're doing the same. Well, you want to keep all of these four on most of the time. 
this is just to revive dead NPCs and uh, import relations if you have it ticked off everyone go to neutral again so if you were happy with the holy nation you will now be zero with them advanced options same as before you can always change this easy prospecting I don't think it does anything just so you know you can have it on if you want I literally do not remember if it does anything anymore I know it did something or it was supposed to because if not it wouldn't be there uh, but another side effect of importing is uh, everyone all shops reset meaning that you can trade with people again and they will have a new inventory of items so thieves arm thieves arm thieves arm industrial lifter 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 find a fucking lee thank you you can't afford that i mean of course i can't it is 25k of 21 but if we do this and you do that and i buy this and yes i don't want to sell it i'm not gonna piss on you too much uh, yeah, they count as stolen, so technically I can sell them back. As you see, it's just stolen, not from anyone, it's just stolen. It's just, just stolen, goddamn. But I won't, because that's... I mean, this was just to show you what import does. And also, I got a limb out of it. Now, let's go back home. To the Hubberino. I did not equip that. Acid rain, yes, yes, acid rain. There we go. Um, so I'll sell all of this at the way station, at least some of it. I know I won't be able to sell all of it. Total weight of 88 now. Oh my god, why do you do this? Stop it, you absolute dumb fuck. Holy shit, man. <sighs> Just, hmm, complain about the fucking acid rain. Proceeds to swim in acid. How is this person still alive? Go golly gee man, holy. Oh well. And if I would have died there, that would be the end of this. Just so you know, even though it's like a pathfinding mistake, if I'm not following if I'm not keeping track of what's happening, that's a my mistake, not a pathfinding mistake. Uh, now, with the new pants, movement speed is 23. Only a 3% bonus instead of a 10%. But that's fine. If you remove this, it's a 5% deficit. Which is weird. Uh, where does the rest of the downside come from? Because these pants have a downside of minus, what, 2%? No, that's combat speed. And athletics is actually 6%. I guess it's a weird rounding thing. The game rounds a lot of stuff weirdly for some reason. You gonna go or not? Thank you. Ain't nobody got time for that. Some old ass memes, goddamn. Those memes were barely... Bear, what? No. Those memes are like fucking my age. Gosh dang, man. Seventy one athletics though. That's a great number. There we go. I'm a bit curious. So how strong does she look now? You can actually see her muscles now. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, if you didn't know, your strength, toughness, dex, and actually smithing skills too, if I remember right. Laboring, I think, maybe, probably. 
affect your muscle definition and strength and bigness and whatnot. Though I believe it might be cooking and like science will reduce it, which I find very funny. <laughs> um, that's not what we're doing now. We're selling stuff. You have 8k, so that doesn't help me at all. Uh huh. What do you have then? You have 12.7. That is good. I cannot sell you these guys. I can sell you this. And you do not. I mean, you have. I'll just take another one. Uh. Seems about it, really. Um, do I want another first aid kit? I could steal a few. Not first aid kits, I mean... Uh, these fuckers. The sneaky boy is running. There she goes. I just want... Oh yeah, fuck. I can just take them now. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Did not even realize I was there. Now these guys can be sold here. Good, perfect, great. Uh, I can definitely not sell them in the hub, so I'm gonna go to Squin instead. Now have a plus 14 to strength. That's great, though. It's gonna get exponentially stronger, kind of. I mean, for every... Like... Few levels, you'll gain an extra strength. If you have two arms, it's incredibly strong. But we don't. We might never. The lockpicking skill is 19. We need a lot more than that. So I might just go ahead and strip myself of all the equipment and run into a slave camp and become a slave for a bit. That might be good. Though I think I might need to remove my arm as well for that. Though it will be very boring to watch, it is very safe experience. Weirdly enough, being a slave is kind of safe. What you could do then is fill a backpack up with stuff, put it in a container you find, and just oh sorry, uh, and just steal it back later. That's a very possible thing to do. Uh, my phone is gonna explode in a bit. Not really. It's just an alarm I have. If I didn't turn it off, that is. No, what? What do you mean alarm is removed? That's not what I did. Eh, whatever, it's probably fine. Okay. Hello, Mr. Armor Shop. How is the day going for you? Take a look around. Oh, there are two of you now. You have 25k. Bop and bop. Do you have you have high grade pants? But these are the ones that that uh, not Catlon, Tin Fist. That's his name. He uses these guys, plated drifter leather pants. Of course, they're in specialist grade or better. But just so you know, that's what he uses. He does not use those. Um. Yep. Weapon shop. This is also a thing that can happen when you import, that you gain multiple NPCs. Um, just being here. Now there is a few things I want to try. This might be very bad. So we will find out in a bit if it is very bad or not. 
this place if I remember right. Might have some good stuff up in here, though I don't actually remember if that's true or not. It seems safe to pick lock this. I'm doing it in normal speed because I might instantly get spotted and get fucked. I don't want that. I've seen this have food in it, but I for some reason doubt there will be. I've also seen it with just one fucking piece of water, so... Da -da 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 -da. Come on, man. Come on, man. I mean, I am leveling lockpicking. It's very slow, though. God damn it, come on now. Don't have all day. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. Fucking fish, dude. Just fish. I'm good, thank you very much. I won't eat your goddamn fish. Fish is expensive. It's really expensive, too. Uh, we might find Ruka here. I'm not gonna pick her up and do much about it. Though I'm gonna do another beep moment, but the opposite way around. God damn it, let me see something before I uh, stop this episode. Let's see, is Ruka in here? No, there she is. Hello, Ruka. How is you doing? I'm gonna just, you know... Um... No... Take out the weeks first. Yep, yep, yep. Didn't deserve that. It would be an honor. Now, I... Just need to do this because I don't remember. Because I think I actually made... Wait, nope. Well, what I normally do, I feel bad for her, right? So, uh, what we do is go to face, and we go to horns, and we give her back some horns. And like that, congratulations, Ruka. You have your horns back. And goodbye. You can now be a proud owner of a head of horns. See you uh, whenever we cross paths again. Don't die. And that, my friends, is where I will uh, leave you. Uh, until next episode, I think I'm going to go ahead and train... Oh, hello there. Train uh, strength. Up to maybe 70, 75, something like that. I don't know. You have seen me train strength. It is just me going to the hub and running back and forth with a heavy backpack. It is not interesting in the slightest. Uh, I also want to fight a lot with gaining some melee defense. Just fighting people that don't eat me. So it would be probably just dust bandits. Uh, so that's also a thing that's going to happen. But first priority is strength training. I want to get a decent amount of strength so I can wield my weapons without worrying about suddenly having too low of a strength requirement to be able to wield it properly and just dying. Because that's bad. <laughs> dying is bad. That, that is what it is. Now, I'm gonna be happy being home again. 
That was a long trip. Of course. I can't go in because the door is locked. Now we have some of this. We have some more food. I'm just going to put those in there for a bit. Yeah. That seems to be good. Home at last. And uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys next time.